Hello everyone, welcome to ACL Program Solution. Today we are going to see a program to print second highest number from array. So let's see how we can write a solution for this one. So here we have one array. From that array we have to print a second highest element. So here the highest element is 10 and the second highest element is 9. Our output should be 9 here. Okay. So very simple uh, solution for this one is you can sort this given array and after sorting you can print a number which is at n minus 2 position. Okay. But there we are not writing any logic because there just we are sorting the array by using a input method sort and after that just we are printing the element which is at n minus 2 position. But most of the time interviewer will ask you a question, write a logic without sorting the given array. So that case how we can write a solution, let's see. Here this is at our 0th position, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Okay. So how we can create a solution, let's see. First what we will do, we will take two variables. One will be largest number. And this variable we will assign it as a 0 and second variable we will take a second largest number. Second L or largest number. Which will be uh, same we will assign it as a 0. Now we will write one for loop. So this for loop we are going to start from 0 then i less than this array dot length minus 1. Okay, so we are starting from 0. So, this should be till this fifth element. Then, we will increment this array. So, inside this for loop, what logic we have to write? Here, we will write one if condition. So, inside that if condition, we will check array of i is greater than largest num. So, this is our largest num variable which is currently assigned as a 0. Okay. If array of i is greater than largest number then what we have to do? If it is greater than largest number for example if uh, here array of i is now what is array of i? 2 and the largest number is 0. Okay. So, is 2 greater than 0? Yes. The 0 was largest number. But now, 2 is greater than 0. So, now 2 should be largest number. Right? So, this 2 should be our largest number. And this 0 should be our second largest number. Right? So, same logic. Just we have to write in this if condition. If i of i is greater than largest number. Then, second largest number. Second largest number should be largest number. Okay. And then the largest number should be our array of i. Okay. So this is a logic which we should write inside this if condition. Okay. After that, we have to write one else if block where we will check array of i is greater than second largest number and one more condition will be there and array of i not equal to largest number. Okay, if this is the case. Then what logic we have to write here? So here it should be if if the number is greater than second largest number and it is not largest number. So that time this number we should assign to second largest number variable. Okay. Second largest number is equal to area of R. Okay. 
So this is the logic which we have to write in else if and then here we will close the for loop. Now just see. So now just uh, we, we will start from this uh, for loop. For loop we have started from 0 till array of length minus 1. Here array of 5 is greater than largest number. So uh, first condition we already have checked. For example here 2 is greater than 0. Okay, so that is the true condition which will come inside. And now second largest number will be the largest number means the 0. Right. And then the largest number will be 2. Okay. Now uh, it will come and increment the i. So now the i value should be 1. So at a of i position the element is 10. Okay, this 10. Now here it will check is 10 greater than largest number. So in largest number what is the value 2. So here it will check is 10 greater than 2. Yes. Okay. Now the second this condition is true. So it will come inside the if and second largest number will be now largest number. What is the value in the largest number 2. Okay. So now 2 will be second largest number and what will be our largest number 10. Okay, then it will increment the i. Again, it will come to 9. Here also it will check is 9 greater than largest number. So now what is the largest number? 10. Okay, so is this the case 9 is not greater than 10, right? So it will come in LC. It will check is array of i greater than second num. Second num is 2. So is 9 greater than 2? Yes. Then array of i not equal to largest number. Now the largest number is 10. Okay. So this condition is true. Right. So it will come inside and it will assign a second uh, largest number as, if, as a array of i. Means 9. Okay. So now in the second largest number the value will be 9 and the largest number will be 10. Again, it will increment the array, it will come to 6, it will check. Is 6 greater than 10? Is this the case? No, right? Because 6 is less than 10, it will come here in LC. Then again, it will check. Is 6 greater than second uh, largest number? Now, the second largest number is 9. Okay, so this is also not the case. So again increment the i, it will come to the 7, same case because 7 is less than 9 and 10. Again for the 8 also the same case. So now what is the value uh, inside this second largest number is 10. Okay. Sorry. Uh, what, will, what is the value in second largest number now? 9 and the largest number is 10. And we just have to print this 9 value, right? So this is the way we can write the solution and we, uh, we will get the expected output. So let's see how we can do this same in our code. And just opening my exit ID. So here we have taken one array. Now see. So same thing we are going to write here. Int largest num is equal to 0, then int second largest num is equal to 0. These are the two variables which we have assigned to 0. The second thing for loop, which will start from 0 and then i is less than array dot length. And increment the i. Inside for loop, we have to write a if condition where we are going to check if array of i is greater than largest number. If this, if this is the case, then what we have to do here, we have to write second largest number is equal to largest number and then largest number is equal to our array of i. Okay. Sorry. Yes. And then 
After this if condition, we will write one more else if. There also we will check if i of i is greater than second max or second largest number and array of i should not equal to largest number. Okay. If this is the case, then we have to assign that to our second largest num. So here, second largest num is equal to array of i. Okay. And after this for loop, we can just print our second largest number. So here, second largest number is, and here we can print that variable second largest number. Okay. So this is our code. Just we will check if it is working or not. So here the second largest number is 10. So let's see our input array is this and here the largest number is 11 and second largest should be 10. Okay. So this is our correct output and uh, let, let me show you quickly the first approach which is by sorting the given array. Okay. So just I am removing this one. So here, how we can do that way? Just we have to use arrays class sort method. Okay. Sorry, arrays dot sort method. And inside this sort method, we can pass this array. Now this array is sorted. So here, you can just uh, print array of n minus 2. Okay. Uh, sorry, not n because then we haven't initialized the n. So here we can write i dot length minus 2. And uh, see if we are getting the output as a 10. See here. We are getting a second highest number as a 10. If you want to check for the different elements, so here I will assign the 14. Now the output should be 11, right? So let's see, is it working or not? See, the output is 11. Okay, so this way we can create a solution, but uh, for this uh, sorting approach, we are not writing any logic. So most of the time, you have to write the solution in such a way that to where you are not using a uh, inbuilt method in the interview. Okay. In the interview, they want to see your um, logical skill, how how you can uh, create a solution or what will be the way, how you will be building a solution. Just they want to see, so that time you can, uh, you can uh, create a solution using our first approach, which we have um, seen previously. Okay. So that's it for today's video. If you like my video, please subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. Share the video with your friends. Thank you.